everyone, come learn how to create your first event in Livestorm. I will explain how to create a new event, edit the event general settings, customize your registration page, Eventum and Design, set up automatic emails, choose your recording and video settings, add apps and automations, add sessions and contributors, test before you go live, publish your event, and finally share your event. Let's get started. There are three ways to create your event. Firstly, you can create an event in your Livestorm calendar by clicking on any white part of the calendar or by clicking on the Create Event button above. You can also create a Livestorm event from a third-party calendar system, such as Google Calendar. Lastly, you can also create an event directly from your events dashboard. Click on Create Event and a side panel will open. You will then be able to name your event, edit the URL of your event, Choose the access settings, choose the speaking permissions, add the date, the time, the time zone of your event, add more sessions if needed, and add team members. You can also change all these settings after you create the event. Click on Create Event when you're done. It will direct you to the event general settings. Once your event is created, you can then edit your event's general settings. Once in the event general settings, you can further edit the name of your event, the URL, the description, the access settings, the speaking permissions, the estimated duration of the event, and the language. The URL might be too long, so you can edit it. Just be aware if you change the URL after you publish the event, people won't have access to your event anymore. Your event's access settings will determine who can see and join your event for both those who are inside and outside of your Livestorm workspace. If you mark access, it means that those concerned will be able to see your event's registration page and join your event from the link. If you desire a more private event, you can choose no access, which means that those concerned must be invited or manually registered to see the registration page and join your event by link. In this section, you can choose who will be allowed to speak during your event. If you choose only team members and guest speakers can speak, you will still be able to invite attendees to speak in the room during the event. If you choose everyone can speak, your attendees will be able to participate by clicking on the participate button in the room. You can have up to 25 people on stage simultaneously. They won't need to be invited. Please note that you won't be able to change the speaking permissions if your event has already started. You can personalize the registration process Choose which features to activate in your event room and customize the design of your registration page and emails with your branding, all within the optional setting. For registration, by default we require email, first name, and last name. You can also add more fields and any custom fields you would like, as well as any custom consents. For your event room, verify that your chat questions, and polls tabs are activated. Choose if you would like to make questions public or private. Choose if you would like to make the people tab public or private. You can see the preview of what your event room will look like to the right. In the design settings, you can customize the background color used on the header, the overall font color, the background and font color of your buttons, add your logo, or add a cover image for the registration page and emails. You can see what your design will look like for both your registration page and emails in the preview to the right. In this section, you can pick which notification emails you want to be sent to registrants. Our default emails are registration confirmation email, reminder email, event is starting email, thank you email, didn't show up email. You can always delete any email or add your own custom templates. To preview or edit any email, you can click on Preview or Edit. In these sections, you can choose how you want to record your event, who has access to the replay, if you would like to make your event on demand, and the method of streaming you prefer. Choose if you would like to record your event automatically or if you prefer to control it manually when your event is live. By default, your replay will automatically be sent to registrants and attendees by email after your event has ended. However, you may want to make your event on demand. 
To do so, choose anyone on demand and confirm that you acknowledge that you will only be able to have one session for this event. Livestorm recommends using their platform as your video streaming source. If you would like to use another streaming platform, you can use an iframe code to set it up. You can read more about restreaming options in our Help Center documentation. You can add many different apps to your event from the Livestorm app marketplace. If necessary, you can also add automations to ensure a smoother flow during your event. Click on the Apps Marketplace icon. Select the app that you need and follow the steps. In the app settings of your event, make sure that the app you need is enabled. If it's not, check the box to enable it. Under the Automations tab, click on Add an Automation and choose the automated action you desire. Choose when you would like your automation to happen. Once your automation is created, you can edit or delete it at any time. Each automation that you create will apply to all sessions of your event. In the end, make sure to enable automations for your event. Under the Sessions tab, you can add, edit, and delete sessions as you need, as well as add contributors. To edit or delete a session, scroll your mouse over the desired session and click on Edit. You can then add a title, change the date, time, and time zone, and add contributors. We strongly recommend that you run a test before you go live. Access the event room and choose your audio and video devices. Verify that you can see yourself on the window and speak out loud to see if the green line is moving while you speak. Then, choose if you want your camera enabled or not, and if you want your microphone muted or not. You can also choose a virtual background. Click on the Join Stage button and you will then be inside the room. You can now publish your event. Once you publish your event, your registration page is live and you can start inviting people to your event. Sharing your event is simple. There are several ways to do so. To share your event's registration page, you can choose the session that you want to share and click on Share Registration Page. Choose to copy the link or get the embed code. If you'd like to embed your registration page within an external website, you can also share the direct access link to your event. Click on Copy Event Link and then share it with whoever you'd like. Now it's up to you to create your first event.